in the atmosphere Saturday versus maybe previous spring games or do you expect a difference? I don't really expect any difference. I mean, we're still going to go out there and compete just like every other day. I mean, it's going to be more like a practice than a scrimmage and we compete every day during that too. So, I, I mean, the one-on-one -on -one drills, the, um, the situational stuff that we're going to do is going to be very competitive. Kyler, I know you've moved around the positions a lot. How have you enjoyed and how much have you grown this spring just staying mostly at left tackle? What all has that done for you? Uh, it's done a lot for me. I, I can't I can't imagine, you know, being able to being have to switch positions during the spring. It's it's really great to stay at left tackle from the season. Um, you know, the whole season got me better at that position and now just going through spring the whole spring has got me even better. So I feel really confident where I'm at. What is it what was it like to have Charles Mosley over there with you guys too? Uh, it was different. Um, Charles is a young guy, it's a new guy to coach and you know, he's trying to soak it all in as much as he can and he got a little glimpse of it last year when he was over at the offensive line, but uh, today he—I mean—he did his did his job as as, mu as well as he could have being the first day, and I'm proud of him. How just how hard is that? You know, you guys are what 12 or 13 days into spring. How yeah. hard is that just to try and jump over there and catch on as quickly as possible? Oh, it's very difficult, and uh, you know he didn't complain, he didn't you know pout, he didn't do any of that. He said, "Okay, I mean, if I'm going to be here, then I'm here." And I'm gonna try and learn as much as I can, which is great for him. Which was talking to Sarah about like, he wants the five best linemen. He obviously has a bunch of guys playing multiple positions and stuff. What's that extra competition kind of done to the line this spring? Well, it makes you better. Um, you know, I know when I was younger, you know, we always used to be like, you know, we're the competition for the older guys, and it made them better. And now I feel like the competition coming up on my rear is making me better. You know, and you know, I'm taking it in stride. I'm not. I'm not you know, trying not to teach Blair because he's competing against me. You know, I'm trying to make him as good as he can be. I'm trying to coach him up and make him better than I am because because I want that for him. Um, but it, it really is a great atmosphere now that we have some depth. You see all these guys in green, all these guys across both sides of the ball have been sidelined this spring. I mean, how much do you kind of look around at those guys and wonder what kind of team y'all are going to have this fall when everybody's back? It's really exciting. Um, it's exciting, you know, when – Whenever we would mess up plays or you know, do well in plays, we're like, "Wow, what what could this guy do if he was in here? You know, what what kind of difference could he make?" And you know, it's 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 out there. We have no idea if uh, you know if they'll be able to perform, but we're pretty positive about it. So, Carla, what have you seen from from Brett this spring? Seems like you know, Chris Mooney said he's been really steady. Have you seen that from him? And kind of how have you seen him grow over the, over the course of this offseason? Uh, I've never seen anybody grow as much as Brett has this offseason. You know, last season, working with him, he was behind me at left, and you know, got a few playing reps and, and games, and you know, his his step up on the field is ridiculous. It, it it really does astound me how much different he is, how how good his set is now, how good his hands are, how good his footwork is. You know, and it really is a. Um, it just shows that he, he works hard and he wants it. How much of it was an attitude maybe playing and, and being tougher? I know that's something the that coaches have stressed in. I'm sure, I'm sure it was an attitude for him. You know, it, It's his shot to, to step up. I mean, we had a tackle leave in Jacob Gillum, so we needed another one. And you know, he probably took that upon himself and saying, hey, I'm going to be that extra tackle. So uh, I mean, he did a great job with it, and he's doing great this spring. Kyle, how much of a motivating factor do you think the increased numbers on the offensive line, seemingly more options that you guys have now, and even more guys coming in, how much does that help this group, do you think? A lot. I mean, competition makes you better in every aspect of it. And, um, you know, having the depth uh, helps guys get breaks, too. I mean, getting some reps off, helping your body, and that'll help during the season when, you know, we go on long game stretch with no buys. Um, so, as much depth as we can get, you know, we, we want 15 guys in that room with us to, to make us a good old line. You played all across the offensive line. How different is left tackle as opposed to right? Uh, I wouldn't say that much different. It, it, it's a lot more difficult to switch down inside than it is just tackle to tackle. Um, you're just switching feet, really. Um, going to inside, it's a little bit different blocking, it's different mentality than outside, you're more patient as a tackle and pass protection. Inside, you're more violent in pass protection. So um, that that would be the big jump. Right to left isn't isn't that bad. Where did Come you in, learn to uh, dance like you, like you did on Saturday? Uh, it seems like that's gone viral a little bit. I have no idea. <laughs> I, just, I just did. Um, 
my mom always said that when I was younger, I used to just uh, move my feet really fast and thought I was dancing really well. <laughs> Apparently, it got better as the years went on, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Is that where you got the quick feet for left tackle? Yeah, I would, I would guess so. All that practice of dancing is we, it was we could call it. <laughs> the expectations for the team have gone way up since the big November you guys had in the big bowl game. How do you sense that the team feels a little different going into this season with the higher expectations? Uh, it's definitely a different feeling. We're, we're not feeling like nobody's watching us. We feel like everybody's on us. You know, we got we got a target on our backs now, um, and that's that's a totally different approach than it was the past few years. A lot of guys haven't experienced that yet, and uh, I mean it's good though. I mean it, it it's really healthy for you to feel like you know you're 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 getting better, and and that gives everybody confidence. So. Where do you feel like the team has advanced the most this spring? Uh, our camaraderie is really nice. I mean, you know, in years past, I felt as if the team was divided. It wasn't as close as it could be. Now I feel like I'm close with everybody here. I mean, I mean, I'm close to DBs, and I don't even see them on the practice field. Really, you know, I'm. It, it's nice to to be able to be a team, a real, real team now. Kyler was there since early today. Now you didn't have to worry about blocking Charles. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't uh, have 360 pounds to move, which was which was good. Uh, he, we talked about that. We like him uh, on our side. Me, uh, Dontavious Blair, were saying, "God, thank God, I don't have to go down on him anymore and try and get him out of the hole." Which is, I mean, it's great, and it's great for him to be able to come over with us and, and get some good work in, and maybe be able to, you know, fight for a spot. How exciting is it to think about the possibilities? I've heard and Kamara, both of those guys that defenses have to defend, and maybe both of them on the field at the same time. It's really exciting. Thunder and lightning. That's what I like to say. I mean, Heard being a big back and being able to run over people and Kamara coming out there with his speed, it, it really is exciting for our offense and it makes our jobs easier, which is always great. Jay Sean has got some looks at center. Kind of describe what, he, what that's been like when you've seen him there and, and why he would be a good center or whenever that might happen. Well, Coach Mo has a philosophy that everybody can play center. I mean, um, technically, we could have we have about seven guys who could snap the ball, so um, it wasn't a surprise that he wanted Jay Sean to play center. I mean, he started making him get reps uh, last fall and making him starting to snap over the, over uh, winter workouts. So, um, but you know, he's he's doing well, and I mean, he's doing a good job, and it shows. You know, he's a veteran now. Now that he's been through a whole season. He kn he knows what he's doing now, so it's good. What kind of difference have you seen in Brett Kendrick? Uh, everything. Um, I was just saying a little while ago. He he's changed everything that he's done. I mean, last last fall he was left tackle behind me, um, and I got to work with him, and he's totally transformed. I mean, his his footwork, his hands, everything, and I'm really proud of him. He really took it in stride. He he knew that that tackle position was going to be open, and uh, he took advantage of it. Dobbs What's different about him now? What did you go? Sorry, go ahead. Dobbs had a tremendous November and. Then bowl game. What difference have you seen in him this spring that, that maybe has grown from that? He's even more of a leader now than he ever has. And last season, you know, he didn't get every game, so it was kind of hard, you know, being in the shadows, then trying to step into a leadership role. But, you know, now we see him as the quarterback, you know, he's our quarterback. He's a guy we're protecting. He's looking after us. So, you know, he, he really has taken that whole CEO of the offense under his belt and uh, done a great job.